Yeah? Because you know there's a market out there for that stuff. A market? Operations, real blood and stuff. Is it? Yeah, it's reality, see? People go for all that. Internet sells the work, so you can get copies made. I don't of. think so, Mr. Well, think about it. Let's not close the door on it just yet, shall we? Assist. Could you? I haven't seen one before. Uh, I don't think you're going to be seeing one today, either. Is there something bothering you, Joseph? No. You just seem a bit put out. Not at all. I'm fine. Ah, Joseph. Is everything OK? Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> a little bit furrowed around the brow, that's all. Furrowed? But if not, well, good. Not the least bit furrowed. Good, good. I'm pleased to hear it. Look, I'll need you on top form for this mini maze today. You did do the course in Amsterdam, didn't you? Yeah. Great, good. Um, get Jack to assist you, right? It'll do her good. Yes, of course. Except, in fact, she can't. Um... Oh? No, she was just saying she's uh, tied up. Not to worry, though. I will find someone. Good, right. Thank you, Joseph. Mm -hmm. Is this about the pamphlet? No. Because we can't change it. Um, not now, Dad. I've just got the problem. Though. I'll see you later, all right? It's only a mock-up. No, it's, it's not about that. It's just I've been thinking. What? I want to know if it's going to work. Because, say if I want to ask someone out. You mean a girl? Well, preferably. Unless I start getting desperate and start dating the furniture. Frankie, you don't have to wait. You can ask somebody out now. What, like this? Look, you're a normal guy, badly out of condition, and you lack confidence with girls. But if you follow this program, you won't just lose weight. You'll start believing in yourself. You think so? I'm sure of it. Selena Dighton went through the wrong door. Fell down some stairs. And you think it's because of the TIA? Probably. What else could it be? I'm not sure she should be on her own, this one. And you're considered and caring opinion. My two metre. Anyway, I'm sending her for some chest X-rays, but I don't think there'll be much wrong. Oh, bring that closer, will you? What do you want a chair for? Who's that? Mother. I've inherited her bone structure. What have you got, a boy or a girl? A boy. Oh, dear. What's wrong with that? Boys are so dull and predictable. What's the matter with him? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'll be fine. So, uh, where'd you get all this from? Well, Mother sent me most of it from Ireland to avoid inheritance tax. Do you want me to put it in the safe? No, no, no. I, I need to have it about me. She also gave me my bag. Have you found it? <sighs> Not yet. Well, you need to make a systematic search. Hey, you. Yeah. Hey, sir. And can you tidy that clutter up for me when you're done? Thank you. Yeah. Hello? I'm quite busy at the moment. Then you had to call me? No, no, don't complain to me. No, you do your job. That's what I pay you for. Well, I'll be down when I can, OK? I've already explained this, Devon, more than once. What we're going to do is remove the swelling from the parotid gland. I know that stuff, yeah. It's not that. Then what is it? I'm being ignored. I don't think so. People don't take any notice. It... I've got to go. No one listens. Miss Moore was up on Darwin looking for Frankie. Well, that's where we were last time. So I uh, showed him now. How considerate. Yes, we're treating Frankie on Keller now. Oh, I thought he didn't treat the overweight. Right. Is he here at the moment? Yes, yes, I was just about to go and see him. Actually, it would be good to talk to both of you, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, Frankie! It's all right. I'll go. 
He's always been able to see the funny side. Well, maybe it's his age. No, it's not that. I know my son. If you'd like to talk about this. Frankie. What's up? Do they want an encore? No one was laughing at you. What, they were laughing with me? Is that it? Well, it can't be because I won't laugh him, what I... Look, Mr Griffin, I know my dad loves me, but he thinks this is all a joke. You can explain it to him. No, I can't, because it is, isn't it? Look, I need to do something about it. Look, do you want to go and get a coffee or something? I don't know. Come on. Skim milk, no cream. What's this for? Oh, somewhere to put my things. Selena, you're cluttering the place up. It is not clutter. We won't be able to get to you. Put these things out for me, will you? What? Well, I can't do it. I have to be helped. I'm sorry, but that's not what I'm here for. I think it probably is, you know. This is ridiculous. Well, that's what people do. But not in the middle of a busy ward. The crash foamed again. Right. I thought you'd been down there. It just takes a little while to sell, that's all. And anyway, it's not good for us to be running after him like this. Running after him? Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going now. Thing is, Frank is a funny guy. Makes me laugh. He makes everyone laugh. I've seen him make Man City fans laugh. All done up in United colours. Still they laugh. Well, he's not laughing now, is he? Mr. Moore, I don't really think you could say You're he's... not good enough the way you are. Can't have a fag. Can't have a sandwich. It's depressing him. Frankie needs to lose weight. All right, now, Mr. Griffin's a very good doctor, and he will do what's best for him. Well, fair enough. Whatever you say, he did save my life. But I'm not going to stand by and watch him make my son miserable, am I? I happen to notice there's this opportunity in India. India? Yeah, research into uh, tissue engineered mitral valves with Lloyd Stanley, who was a friend of my father's. And you're thinking of applying? What? I thought your no. plans were all here. Uh, no, I mean, well, yes, they are. Um, but for someone, it would be a good move. You mean someone else? Yeah, quite a good career move, wouldn't you say? With Professor Stanley, definitely. That's what I thought. But not for you? No. Well, for, her, for who, then? Who, who are we talking well, about? Well, not no one, just theoretically. Right, yes. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Hmm. I got someone to get rid of it for you. What? The graffiti. Why are you telling me this? I thought it bothered you. No, why should it? Well, it's, it's funny you should ask, actually, because, uh, well, I've got a theory about that. I think someone's trying to get our attention. It's just some stupid graffiti, Donna. No, not just. It's I've got something to say graffiti, you know? And then we all say, what? What is it that you want to say? And then he just... What? Well, he just comes out with it. Or she. Could always be a she, I suppose. Mr. Lane's prepped. Seems a bit preoccupied. About the procedure? He won't say. But you can tell when someone's preoccupied. Can you? Hmm. Maybe he'll talk to you. Mr. Lane. Keeps giving me like this. Feels like the hours come. Well, this procedure should change that. <coughs> Different, you said special. Yeah. Am I going to be all right? Of course, yes. Yeah, but am I? I mean, cutting and burning. What's the odds? Well, I would say that they're considerably in your favour. Would you bet on it? I would, yes. Ten, twenty, what? More. Um, you're not actually suggesting no. that. Just... Got things on my mind. About the operation? No. The past. I don't want to die thinking about stuff. Yeah. The first few steps will be the hardest. After that, nothing will stop you. You think? What could? My dad. My dad could stop me. Why would he do that? Two fat mates having a laugh. That's us. Have you tried talking to him about things? I've tried. He just clams up. Anyway, it's not that easy, is it? Why not? 
Well, because when I tell him that I'm fat and I think I'm ugly, it's like...